Brian Something or Another is brought to you by HighSchoolReviews.com. Hello again, Brian here for HighSchoolReviews.com with Brian Something or Another. Um, real quick, I want to, before I get into this, I want to talk about last week's uh, episode where I talked about Final Fantasy and the, uh, the time it takes to make a game, it seems like, with Japanese development. I just want to go on record saying that I don't... I don't w wish any harm to these companies, okay? I like Final Fantasy. I like Square Enix. Uh, I really want to see The Last Guardian come out. Uh, but my point was simply that you can't... I don't understand the development cycle from a business perspective. Uh, and uh, to even maintain a console in a, in a foreign country like that where you don't have games for it or it takes a long time for the games to come out. Um, so having said that, that doesn't change my opinion. I know a lot of people out there were, you know, shooting me Wikipedia pages about games that have come out. But more to my point is that those games that you pointed out to me were all remakes or ports going on to like iOS systems, uh, games that were made by IDOS and not Square Enix themselves. Square Enix published the games, they didn't, they didn't make the games. So uh, my opinion didn't change, so I just want to put that out there. Um, so, moving on. Today is first day of October. October means fall. Fall means Halloween. Uh, scary stuff and uh, all that. So about a few weeks ago, I did a, a um, article about uh, survival horror games. And in the next few weeks, we actually have a couple of survival horror games coming off. But what I wanted to do first was kind of go through the motions uh, to make my point. Um, there's games out there uh, when I was, you know, Keep in mind, I'm old. Uh, when I was younger, games like you know, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Fatal Frame, Clock Tower, uh, game, what I like to call traditional games. Uh, so I'm, well, let me take it back. Traditional survival horror games, uh, where you have the pre-rendered background and you have the weird camera angles, uh, you know, to give you, you know, to give the game a little scope, I guess. Um, and that was good enough uh, back then. And you know, I would get into a room with a bunch of people, play the game. I'd be the one playing the game, but as much as I got scared, they got just as scared, which is weird because I'm the one playing it. Um, but then things started tapering off a little bit. Um, Resident Evil started turning into action franchises. Um, we just we didn't see any more. Um, we saw Silent Hill games, but they weren't the same caliber for some reason, which is ironic because you know, going from standard defi standard definition to high definition. It would be reason to believe that they would have more of an impact uh, as far as being scary, uh, but they just didn't. They didn't work out as well as uh, you know people probably hoped they would. Um, and then it kind of died down for a little bit. We had Dead Space, and that was good. Um, but then you know there was a little bit of a break, I think, in a way. And then we started moving into this new genre of survival horror, which I'm going to call new wave survival horror. And what that means is survival horror games that. Uh, they don't give you a weapon. It's all first person, and all you have is like, say, like a camera or the night vision of a camera. Games like uh, Slender, Outlast, um, uh, among the among the sleep being, you know, some uh, some of them. And it's kind of strange that we went to that progression. Now I don't know if it's because I've gotten older, but these new survival horror games freak me the hell out to the point where I'm afraid to play them. <laughs> Which sounds kind of I know it sounds really wussy, but it is what it is. Um, but we're seeing this kind of weird di weird shift on how we play survival horror games or how they're being developed. Case in point, we have the demo for PT that came out um, during um, one of the game shows. Uh, and uh, it was strange because it was basically a playable demo uh, for Silent Hills. Okay, Silent Hills in, traditionally has been third person. You have a gun, you have a metal pipe or something. But with this demo, they were, they're making you uh, believe that perhaps this game is going into the new wave of survival horror, where it's the first person, all you have is the flashlight and the radio, and you know, and you get the scares from that, trying to survive. Um, so it's interesting how that's going to, I can't wait for that to come out because I want to see how it plays. But more so, we have two prime examples of those two um, genre, we're not really, how should I put it, not really genres, but subgenres. You have the traditional, and then you have the new wave. New wave being Alien Isolation coming out next week, um, as of its taping. And then you have the, uh, Evil Within, 
that comes out in a couple weeks. One really, both survival horror in, this, in, in their own right, but very different on, on the approach. And it's going to be interesting uh, to see how they play out, what sales are, what the reviews are. And I just think that these two games, um, whether they realize it or not, or maybe whether we realize it or not, are going to be the staple, could help, you know, show us or tell us what the staple is for survival horror for this next console generation. It could be the games like Outlast or Alien Isolation that's going to take over uh, for our survival horror games. But then again, you have the creator of Resident Evil 4 bringing us the evil within. Uh, so, I mean, something could come out of that too. So it's just going to be very interesting, I think, watching these two kind of... Uh, not really clash together, but just see how people react to them. And this isn't, um, I just wanted to kind of point that out there. I don't know if anybody realized that or not. Um, what do you think? Do you like survival horror games? Which one are you looking forward to? What kind of uh, survival horror games uh, do you like more? Do you like the traditional ones, like Resident Evil, Silent Hill? Do you like the new wave ones that are coming out now, like Alien Isolation or Outlast? Um, I'm curious what you think. I don't really have like a major point to make with this. I just wanted to bring it to everybody's attention and see what you think. I want reactions from you, uh, the viewer at home, through YouTube, through High School Reviews, uh, forum, uh, whatever. So that's it for me right now. Um, hopefully I'll get my hands on both of these games to be able to review for you. And um, I will see you again soon. Bye.